Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to recalibrate a uh, pressure meter. And uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll fill the, fill the bucket up with water. That's done um, with the meter. Um, the air all the way out. I usually, um, you can put a dot on the side where the uh, straight tube will go in just for reference later. We will screw it into the bottom all the way up so it's tight. And make sure that the meter is um, situated on the bucket perfectly there. And we will place the clamps now. Okay. Now with the uh, blue syringe here, we will gather more water and inject it into the petcock that has the straight tube down inside of it until the water comes out of the other side. Once you start seeing the water come out the other side, you'll close close the one pet cock, and now we'll need to shake the air bubbles out of the meter. Now there's two techniques I use to do this with. Um, neither of them is more correct than the other one. But, um, I'll just shake it for a few seconds, open the pet cock back up, inject more water, and then close it. Now the second technique is you can shake the meter a little bit. Then open it back up and inject more water. What we, what we have to do here is make sure that there is no air inside the bucket and it's only water. So after we've ensured that, we'll close both pet cocks. And we will pump, pump the meter up until the dial reads 3%. You'll have to tap the gauge slightly as the air settles and cools. And once you see that it is stabilized on the 3%, you can go ahead and press the lever to inject the air in the bucket. You tap the, tap the gauge slightly again, and then it rests at zero. Now at this point, if you had fell below zero, or you'd fell above, or stopped before zero, then you would need to adjust your tabs. And um, I can explain that at a later time. But now that we're at zero, we will take our bent tube, put it into the pet cock with the, with the straight tube that's inside it. Now we'll take the graduated tube and we need to fill it up with the water on the inside. Now you want to leave this side plugged, open the side, and you press the lever down until you fill this up exactly with water. Well, from this point you can discard this water. You will need to open the opposite pet cock to allow the water that remains back into the bucket. And you can remove the vent tube. Now at this point we'll close both pet cocks and pump the dial up till it reads 3% again. Again, tapping it to allow it to come to a rest at the three. And if you go over a little bit, you can always adjust it by the uh, bleeder stem there.
And once you got it rested at the um, percentage point there, you can press press it down again to inject the air. And then while holding the lever down, you can tap tap the gauge until it goes. And it should read 5%. And at this point, if you would need to make any adjustments to the gauge, do so with a standard small screwdriver. And you would place it here. And while holding your thumb, you can move it to where it would read the 5%.